haven't changed at all, Snake. Let's be clear. Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots is likely the most technically stunning video game ever made. It's also the pinnacle of storytelling prowess within its medium, combining gameplay and narrative so slickly and beautifully that it's impossible to extricate one from the other. This sounds like exaggeration, but it's not, and it's likely you'll emerge awestruck from your first playthrough, wishing the experience would continue, but still satisfied with how it concludes. Fully realized, lengthy story sequences will come as no surprise to anyone who's played a Metal Gear game. But if you dismiss the series as more movie than game, you'd be missing the point. Gameplay and storytelling are tightly intertwined, and cutscenes are rendered fully in real time within the game engine. It's impressive enough that these scenes look as good as any pre-rendered cinematic you've ever watched, but it's even more amazing when those same scenes transition without pause into gameplay. You can skip past the scenes if you like, but if you did that, you'd be missing out. The story sequences carry more weight because of the intense gameplay that precedes them, and the gameplay feels more compelling because the story gives you powerful reasons to care about your mission. Talking about MGS4's plot would risk giving too much away. Snake, suffering from the rapid onset of aging, now must cope with stiff joints in addition to the looming specter of Liquid Ocelot's newest plans. Some new plot strands emerge while others get tied up, and some old friends and enemies make appearances. Some of it's overblown, but that's okay. After all, the fate of the world hangs in the balance, which calls for a certain amount of melodrama. The gameplay proper is familiar to fans, but it's been cleaned up and expanded. For starters, both gunplay and close quarters combat are more satisfying. Shooting mechanics are much improved, and every weapon feels just right, from pistols to assault rifles. The standard over-the-shoulder view is fine for the most part, but you can gaze down the sights from a first-person perspective if you need pinpoint accuracy. Not that you don't have all the tools for completely avoiding your enemies if you choose that route. Snake's got the basics covered. Crouching, crawling, hugging walls, peeking around corners, and hanging from ledges. There are also a number of important gadgets that will make your life easier in this regard. The most obvious of these is your Octo Camo suit, which takes on the texture of your surroundings when you're prone or pressed against cover. The Solid Eye is your other major tool, as it expands your compass into a radar and allows you to use night vision and a tactical first-person view. Other gadgets, like cardboard boxes and rusty barrels, are good for portable cover, and the Metal Gear Mark II can be used to scout ahead and shock your foes. What makes all this so enjoyable is that you're rarely strapped into a single style of play. If you'd rather sneak, you never have the impression that stealth was shoehorned into a game that's meant to be played as a shooter, or that shooter elements were stuffed into a stealth game. If you're stuck in a jam, it's still a ton of fun to shoot your way out. Regardless of the tactics you use, the level design and enemy artificial intelligence are both terrific. If you hide in a barrel, enemies will come over and expose you. In firefights, enemy teams will flank you and use cover to their advantage, and most environments are littered with objects and cover opportunities. The levels are mostly linear, but there's still plenty of room to try out different approaches. Additionally, some of the enemies are simply awesome, like the colossal geckos and frog operatives that pass from wall to wall. Later in the game, a few set-piece battles like an incredible motorcycle chase deepen the core gameplay even further. Another level features a giant robot in incredible destructible environments. It all makes you feel like the star of your own action movie. Boss battles are stimulating too, and while they can be tricky, they're not all that hard. However, they are long and normally require you to fight other enemies in addition to the main boss, like one where you dodge missiles from flying creatures while taking on the main boss. Metal Gear Solid 4 is possibly the best looking game ever created. From the gritty textures of concrete walls to the effective lighting and shadowing, there are a few aspects you could find problems with. 
In the biggest battles, billows of smoke fill the screen and blood splatters against the camera, yet in the midst of all this, there are a ton of cool small details. You will have to wait through a few install times in the occasional loading screen, and you could probably find some frame rate drops and low res textures here and there, but these are tiny nitpicks in one of the most beautiful games yet to be made. The sound effects are just as unforgettable and excellent. Voice acting and soundtrack go occasionally over the lines of good taste, but overall, both aspects are superb. And on top of it all, Metal Gear Solid 4 offers some enjoyable multiplayer action to complement its superb single player experience. It's all good fun once you adjust to the pace. The best mode is probably stealth mode, where one player plays as Snake, another supports him as the Metal Gear Mark II, and the rest shoot each other up as they search for the hidden Snake. Other modes include deathmatch, team deathmatch, and other team-based missions. It's all very good, which makes the long process of signing up for an online account worth the trouble. If you felt like previous Metal Gear games were more like films than games, Metal Gear Solid 4 isn't going to change your mind. For anyone that appreciates incredible storytelling and games that offer a total entertainment experience, Metal Gear Solid 4 is a stimulating ride that you won't soon forget. That's not just because it's a well-told tale, but because that tale is woven through a thoroughly impressive game that tops its predecessors. Snake! What happened? Snake?